Hi, this is Bill Kahn at Cruising Yachts, 805-469-6252. Today we're up in Ventura and we're going to take a look at the Dilution 51, which is a very unique catch. The boat has a hard top, as you can see, full enclosure. Take a close look just behind the mizzen mast, and we'll do a close up on this. It also has something very unique. That uniqueness is an aft cockpit that you gain entry to through the master cabin. It is also enclosed with a hard top. So we'll just take a quick look here. Incidentally, the kayaks are not included in the boat price. But this is, uh, this is a great place to just get out, have a cup of coffee in the morning, enjoy your day. When the uh, dinghy is off the davits, there's also a walk-through transom on the, uh, with the swim step here. Makes for very easy access. And if you take a look at the boat, it has teak decks, which are, appear to be in very, very good condition. Uh, there's no signs of leaking down below. Here in front of the mast, you've got a box which has is storage for a variety of different items that you may so choose. Back here, there's another box, and this is just additional batteries. So let's take let's go on board and take a look at, at the helm. See what he's got. Have all your electronics here. Everything is working here uh, as far as the electronics are concerned. I think the wind speed indicator might be off or slowing down, but that's e fixed easy and easily enough. So going down into the main salon, you can see for an older boat, there is quite a bit of light in here. Nice dining table. So let's walk up forward here so you have an idea of the forward cabin with both an upper and lower berth. There's a storage locker up here. If you notice the all of the doors have the trademark of a boat made in Taiwan with beautiful woodworking. In here you've got another uh, another cabin with an upper and a lower for crew or kids. This dinette is really a, a nice dinette area. Um, probably seats six to eight people here. Over here where the television is you also have a, a little wet bar area. And back here to the starboard side, you've got your nav station, which is quite sizable. Nav seat, of course your electrical panels. Now we go back into the engine room. 